Hi, I'm Lindsay Newburn, and today I'm excited to read a story I wrote for you. It's called Pootie the Traveling Pelican. Pootie is kind of a funny name, so it means a color in another language. Can you guess what language it comes from? Pootie actually means white in Indonesian. So I want to share a little bit about how I came up with the story of Pootie the Traveling Pelican. So my husband and I, his name is Adam, we traveled the world for four years and we went to lots of different countries and we called our adventures our new ventures because we were seeing all these new places and meeting all these new people and animals. And while we were in Bali, Indonesia, it's a small island in Indonesia, we met a dog named Puti and Puti became one of our really good friends. She watched over us while we were there and she was such a cool dog that she inspired me to write a story for you. I'm in Colorado right now, so if you and I got on a plane together and we wanted to go meet Puti, the dog, it would take us over a day, like 26 hours, to fly all the way to Bali, Indonesia. That's crazy! Okay, ready? Here we go. Puti, the traveling pelican by Lindsay Newburn and illustrated by Lauren Klickner. One morning, Pootie the Pelican flew over the ocean looking for breakfast. Honk honk, screeched a duck. Watch it, I almost hit your big chin, yelled the duck. Big chin, asked Pootie. Yeah, haven't you seen it, said the duck. No, I've never seen myself. Don't we look alike, asked Pootie. No, you're a pelican and I'm a duck. Take a look at your reflection in the water someday. And be careful, you'll hurt someone with that thing. That wasn't very nice. You can see Pootie's sadness. The duck flew away. Upset, Pootie turned and flew home. Sitting on the ocean water, Pootie wondered, Do I have a big chin? She looked down, trying to find her reflection. She couldn't see anything but a shifting form in the rolling waves. Then Pootie thought, How can a duck see her reflection in the water? Pooty remembered her teacher saying, We are pelicans. We live on the ocean salt water. Ducks are different. They live in lakes made of fresh water. Pooty had an idea. I have to find a lake to see what I look like. She took off in search of a lake. Now where do I find a lake? In the trees? She wondered. Pooty turned toward the trees. Searching for a lake below, Pooty saw movement in the forest. Maybe they'll know where a lake is, she thought. She dove down to ask for help. What do you think that is? Pootie spoke to the dark form in the bushes and asked, Do you know where a lake is? <gasps> the figure stepped out of the bushes. It was a big bear. The bear replied, Sure, it's down there. At the sapling, turn right. At the tree with the crooked branch, turn left. Count ten blueberry bushes, then turn right. After that, you'll see the lake. The bear paused and asked, Why are you looking for the lake? Don't you like the ocean? Pootie replied, I want to see my reflection in the water. I've never seen myself before. Pootie wondered then asked, Do I look like you? What do you think? <laughs> the bear chuckled, No, you're a pelican with feathers and I'm a bear with fur. Our differences don't matter though. We both like fish. I just caught some. Come join us for breakfast. Thank you, exclaimed Pootie. I miss breakfast and I'm hungry. At the breakfast table, Pootie amazed the cubs. With a flick of her chin, she ate all the fish on her plate. The cubs all cried, I want to do that. The rest of breakfast, the cubs tried eating like Pootie. After breakfast, the bears walked Pootie outside. Safe travels to the lake, they yelled as she took off into the air. From above, Pootie couldn't see the sapling or count the bushes. She felt lost. She saw something move below. Maybe they'll know where the lake is, she thought. Pootie dove down to ask for help again. I wonder what she sees below there. As Pootie got closer, she saw a turtle and his hatchlings. Do you know where the lake is? asked Pootie. I sure do. The lake's just down the river, but it's easy to get lost. You take a left, two rights, and another left. Then you'll be there. The turtle paused and asked, Why are you looking for the lake? I thought you liked the ocean. Pootie replied, I want to see my reflection in the water. I've never seen myself before. Pootie wondered then asked, Do I look like you? Does Pootie look like the turtle? 
The turtle chuckled, no, you're a pelican with soft feathers and I'm a turtle with a hard shell. Our differences don't matter though. We both like to swim. We're about to play tag in the river. Want to join? Pootie replied, yes, I play tag with the seagulls every day to keep them away from my food. While playing in the river, a hatchling surprised Pootie by tagging her foot underwater. It was Pootie's turn to be it. She had an idea to surprise the hatchlings. Pootie flew up high into the air, then dove down, scooping up all the hatchlings into her big chin. They squealed with excitement. It was their first time taking flight. After the game, the turtle gave new directions. We're closer to the lake now. From here, take a right, then a left. Then you'll see the lake. Have fun! From above, the trees grew over the river, making it difficult for Pooty to see the water splitting in different directions. She felt lost again. Then she saw a gap in the trees in front of her. Could that be the lake ahead, she wondered? Flying over the last trees, Pooty saw calm, sparkling water below. The lake, she cried. Pooty circled around and landed on the sand. Pooty walked to the water. She was nervous about what she would see. She peered down into the water and saw her reflection for the very first time. All at once, the hatchlings popped their heads out of the water and the cubs ran out from the bushes. Pooty jumped from their surprise. A cub asked, do you like what you see? Pooty walked back up to the water and looked down. She now saw a new reflection. She was surrounded by all of her friends. I don't know, said Pooty. I don't look like any of you. I want a chin like yours, replied the cub. I want to scoop up tons of fish like you. Me too, cried the other cubs. The hatchling added, I love your chin. I want another ride in the air. The rest cheered, me too. Pooty laughed. Yeah, I guess my chin's special. I really like my big chin. Pooty's stomach rumbled. She had another idea. Who's hungry, she asked. Me, everyone yelled. I'll go catch our lunch, Pooty replied. Pooty took off to the ocean to catch lunch. At the ocean, Pooty invited her pelican friends, and together they all carried enough fish back for everyone. The rest of the day, the new group of friends swam at the lake and took rides in the pelican's big chins. The end. Okay, before you click out, I have a fun question for you. What's one thing you learned from Pooty's flying adventures? Ask yourself or ask the person you're listening with right now and please share in the comments below what your answers are. I'm really excited to hear what you learned from Pooty's traveling adventures. All right, I hope you enjoyed listening to Pooty the Traveling Pelican. It was really fun reading it for you. If you want to get a paper copy or get it on Kindle, you can on Amazon in the link below. And there's also another link where you can get free printable coloring sheets to color some scenes with Pooty and her friends. Thanks for listening. Have a good day.